Welcome to the Business Finance Bulletin, episode 262. Getting to the latest Business Finance Bulletin, with me, Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services, the commercial finance experts. In this bulletin, SMEs feeling larger businesses hold too much power, Use of asset finance continues to grow strongly and free agent signs up to open banking. Let's open this latest bulletin by taking a look at a survey which caught my eye carried out by Menzies, the accountancy and advisory firm. Now the survey focused on the issue of big firms versus little firms, David versus Goliath, competition amongst the bigger firms and the smaller firms. Now the survey highlighted that 65% of small business owners said they felt their larger competitors had too much power, their voice was so much louder than theirs and as a result they felt that bigger businesses had their future very much in their grasp. Um, also, the report more worryingly highlighted that 29% of small business owners feel they are powerless to do anything about this. Now, the survey also kind of highlighted five key areas where smaller businesses said they felt vulnerable, where the bigger firms had much more leverage. First of those five areas were well, the larger firms have bigger budgets when it comes to investing in technology. They have better access to credit and finance options. They have bigger budgets to attract talented people, they can afford to take a long-term view, and they have better access to strategic advice. Now, it's not all doom and gloom because the report also highlighted that some small business owners did say, hey, we do have an advantage. Those five advantages quoted were the small businesses have lower overheads and fixed costs. They have quicker decision making ability. They're better equipped to react to market changes. They have less red tape and fewer legacy issues. So we can see when it comes to competition, small business owners do have an edge. So if you're in this position of feeling you've got a larger competitors just reflect back you you do have some advantages and make sure you play to those advantages Let's move on now to our regular look at what's going on in the asset finance world. The Finance and Leasing Association have written details of volumes of business written in April 2019. Its members reveal that the volume of business written in April 2019 compared to April 2018 was up by 7%. If you look at a whole 12-month basis, again, it was up 12%. Now compare this to what the high street banks are doing. The Bank of England figures on volumes of business being done by the high street banks show that business finance growth is flat at best. There's a real difference between what the asset finance world is doing and what high street banks are doing. Looking at where this money is being spent, well, there was an 8% increase in new plant and equipment um, that's been financed. Also, general business equipment, those volumes in that month were up 9%. But here's the interesting one, commercial vehicles. That jumped a massive 23% in terms of new deals done. So clearly a lot going on in the logistics space. So you can see there's a lot of activity going on there compared to the high street banks. If you want to know more about asset finance and how perhaps you can finance a purchase of equipment and vehicles in your business, just drop us an email, info at businessloanservices.co.uk. More recently, I've been giving you examples of how open banking is now beginning to penetrate the financial services world. We've got another announcement from FreeAgent, the online accounting software provider, that it has now signed up to open banking. First of all, what is open banking? Well, it's designed to strip away the layers of bureaucracy when it comes to applying for finance. So, for example, if you apply for a loan from a non-high street bank lender, they would typically ask you to send in copies of your bank statements, whether that's scanned copies of the paper statement or downloaded PDF versions. That's another job for you to do. Under open banking, with your approval, that non-high street bank lender could just automatically link into your bank account and take a look itself without you having to do anything. So how does this apply to free agent? Well, obviously free agent as an accounting software package has all your manager information. Hopefully you've been keeping it up to date. So it means that with the nine banks that uh, free agent have now agreed this protocol with, if the bank ever wants to have a look at your manager information, 
information all they have to do is connect in with free agent and there they have everything you don't have to send anything in now for many small business owners they may think hey that's brilliant one less job for me to do for some of you though you may think hey this is a big big brotherish well why would I want to give the banks the ability just to dip in as and when I want so a little bit of a double-edged sword however it's just another example of how open banking is really moving ahead designed to make access to finance easier another bulletin as ever i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to give it a like and a share so that's it for this time look forward to being with you next time have a great successful and profitable week